In the beginning, there was nothing. Well, except for you and the Big Bang. What would the first moments of the universe be like? What would happen over the next thousands of years? And would anyone believe you? This is What If, and here's what would happen if you were alive during the Big Bang. Who wants the last dumpling? Ah, the Big Bang Theory. No, not the TV show. I'm talking about the most popular story about the earliest moments in the history of the universe. According to this theory, the universe emerged from a single point nearly 14 billion years ago. This point, known as a singularity, would have been infinitely dense. From this singularity, the entire universe expanded eventually cooling down enough to form stars, galaxies, and planets like the one you are on now. And our universe is still expanding today. That's one of the most compelling pieces of evidence supporting the Big Bang Theory. So let's travel back to a time where it all began. But before we take this trip in our spaceship, we need to get some food together. You don't want to be eating dehydrated food every day out here. Well, that's why I use Factor. Factor delivers fresh, never frozen meals created by a team of gourmet chefs. And each meal is ready to go within minutes. There's no prep and no mess. It's just heat, eat and enjoy. You know, in this cold weather, I love the spicy turkey poblano bowl. Anything with poblano peppers and anything called spicy is right up my alley. And Factor even lets me craft my future orders from my taste preferences and my meal history. With more than 27 meals and 33 add-on options every week, there's something for everyone, no matter what diet you're on. Head to go.factor75.com slash whatif120 and use the code whatif120 to get $120 off. That's go.factor75.com slash whatif120, code whatif120, to start claiming your time back while still eating healthy. You know, you better stock up this time machine now because we're not gonna see another kitchen for billions of years. Set your coordinates to 13.82 billion years ago. Time to take your shiny new time machine on an epic spin into the past. What you'd find when you arrived would be, well, nothing. You and everything you've ever known no longer exist. But by some miracle of your time machine slash spaceship, you'd arrive at the exact moment of the Big Bang. Before this moment, all the particles that make up the universe were crammed so tightly that not one atom could even form. In this state, the density was infinitely higher than the matter in our current universe. Right after the Big Bang occurred, this matter existed in the form of quark-gluon plasma, or QGP. Very quickly, in a matter of milliseconds, the particles making up this QGP would clump together to form the protons and neutrons that make up the atoms we know today. According to astrophysicist Paul Sutter, at this point, everything was crushed into a ball about the size of a peach. This ball would have been very hot. How hot? Well, only like a trillion Kelvin. That's like 999 billion degrees Celsius. And I wouldn't blink if I were you, because if you did, you'd miss the universe rapidly inflating from the size of a basketball to roughly the size of the sun. Particles would be flying through the QGP at velocities higher than the speed of sound. Like a jet traveling at Mach speed, these particles would emit a supersonic boom. Of course, you wouldn't hear anything. 
sound can't travel through the vacuum of space. Uh, Not to mention, you'd be witnessing a time before any matter has formed. And sorry to say, you'd barely be able to see anything either. Everything would look foggy and blurry. The super dense plasma would scatter light, similar to water droplets in clouds. One microsecond after the Big Bang, you'd see neutrinos, quarks, and electrons form. Shortly after that, you'd see protons and neutrons forming. This would all be happening within one second. At this point, the temperature of everything would have dropped to a chilly 5.5 billion degrees Celsius. And after about three minutes, things would have cooled down enough for these protons and neutrons to form hydrogen nuclei. You'd now be witnessing the era of nucleosynthesis. But don't get ahead of yourself. You wouldn't see the first elements form for another 380,000 years. All those years later, the universe has finally expanded and cooled enough for electrons to stay in orbit around an atomic nuclei. The first hydrogen and helium atoms would form. You'd finally be able to see things more clearly, too. Okay, now you've reached the point in our creation timeline that scientists have some evidence of today. Cosmic Microwave Background Radiation, or CMB, is leftover radiation from about 400,000 years after the Big Bang. These microwaves are invisible to the naked eye, but they reveal that there was a time when the universe was both hotter and denser. More proof that scientists point to in favor of this history of the universe is the speed that galaxies appear to be moving away from us faster than those closer to us. This would suggest that there was a time when all galaxies were in the same spot. Yeah, the singularity. Of course, you would have witnessed all this firsthand, but Without bringing back any definitive proof, the Big Bang would still remain a theoretical model of the history of the universe. There would still be so many unanswered questions, and even if it was all true, would that really have been the beginning of everything? Well, that's a story for another What If.